What's going on guys? Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to Amigos Code. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Python to use a library that will allow us to um, write a program where we're going to fetch some jokes from an API and then we're going to let the Python program read out loud the jokes. You're going to gain so many ideas that you can take from this video. If you're new to my channel, go ahead and subscribe and also give me a thumbs up so I can keep on recording these videos. If you're not part of the Amigos Code community, Facebook and Discord, go ahead and join. We are waiting for you there. Without further ado, let's go ahead and write a Python program that will tell us some jokes. In this section, let's learn how to use Python to fetch data from the internet. So right here, I'm in google.com and I want to show you how to use Python to retrieve this page right here. So let me go back to PyCharm and in here we're going to say from and then URL lib in port and then if I press control and then space, you can see that we have a couple of options and the one that I want is request. Now what we can do is say request dot URL open and we're going to pass the actual URL. So HTTP and then colon forward slash www.google.com and there we go. So now we can extract this to a variable. So I'm going to press option command V and now we have the URL open here. So what I'm going to do is actually name this to R for request. Now I can perform a print. So let me print the actual request. And if I run this, you can see that we have an object. So here, this is a response, right? So we got a response back. So with this response, we can say dot and then get and then code and invoke the method there, run it. And you can see that we get 200 status code, which means that the request was fine and we can read the actual data. So to read the data, I'm going to print. And then in here, I'm going to say dot and then read and then invoke the function. And if I execute the program, check this out. You can see that we actually have the website. So we've opened up google.com with Python. You can see that this is a long string, uh, which contains some HTML and JavaScript. So there you have it. This is how you can read from the internet using Python. And you can see that this was, you know, in about four lines of code, we can read from the internet, which is really awesome. Next, let me show you how to, to make an API call and work with JSON objects. All right, open up Google and type jokes. So jokes and then API. So in here, go to this very first link. So github.com official joke API. And what we want in here is to get a random joke. So here you can see that we can get 10 random jokes or just one random joke. So I'm going to grab this link right here and open up a new tab and then paste that in. And you can see that we have some data back. So this is a JSON object. If I go back to that URL and grab this one, or oh, actually it's, it's the same, but random 10. So here at the end, simply say random 10. And you can see that now we get an array of objects containing jokes. So let's grab this URL and use Python to fetch these jokes right here. So let me just go back to this one joke 
first. So all we need to see. So here you can see that we have the ID, type, setup, and then the punch line here. So let's open up PyCharm. And in here, let's just modify this a little bit. So let's have the URL in here equals to, and then that's the URL for 10 jokes. And then here, let's pass the URL, just like that. Now, if we run the program, you can see that we get an error. And the reason why we are getting an error is because of SSL certificate. So what we need to do is just remove the S. So here, instead of HTTPS, simply say HTTP and run. And there you have it. So you can see that we have the actual jokes. So here we have 10 jokes. So, oops. So here you can see that this is an array and then we have 10 objects inside. So let's take this data and then use Python to load the actual JSON. So I'm going to collapse this. And what we need is to import and then JSON and then JSON. There we go. And now we can say JSON dot loads. Oops, loads just like that. And we're going to grab the read. So here, I'm going to put this into a variable. So JSON or actually content. Or let me simply say data. So data, and then paste that in. And now we want to load the actual data, just like that. So if I now extract this to a variable, I've got the JSON data and let's print JSON data. So JSON data. So I want you to see things step by step. If I run this, you can see that this is our JSON. Have a look. So what we're going to do is the following. So we're going to loop through, right? So we're going to loop through this JSON data and then pull out the setup and the punchline. So let's do the following. So what we're going to do is so remember how to loop through lists. So let's say four and then, and then J for JSON in JSON data. And now we have access to the actual JSON. So this is the individual JSON. So here, we can get the following. So we can get the general. So let's have a variable called general equals to J. And we're going to grab the setup. Oh, actually, so here, setup. So it's not general, so it's setup. My bad, so setup there. And we're going to grab the setup. And here, Let's grab the punchline. So here you can see punchline. So let's just grab the punchline equals to J and then punch line, just like that. And let's for now, let's just print to the console. But if you wanted to turn this into an object, you could definitely do it, right? So you could have a class. And in fact, let, let's just do it. So let's just do this. So what we're going to do here is the following. So we're going to create a class. So let's create a class in here. So class, this will be joke, just like this. And remember, we want to have the init. So override methods init. And in here, what we're going to do is say that we want to pass the setup and then punch line just like that self dot and then punch or oh, actually setup equals to and then setup and we want self dot and then punch line oops just like that equals to and then punch line right and this is our class. So now what we can do 
is say joke equals two and then joke and what we're going to do is pass the setup and punchline and in here let's have a list so let's say uh, jokes equals to an empty list for now and we're going to append so let's append or actually, oh, actually just say jokes dot and then append and then joke and you can see that we are building a little program here so now we finished and in here this should be uh, within quotes just like that and now let me just say print so we're going to print so let's for now print jokes and then dot len so jokes dot and then len just like that if i run the program you can see that we have 10 in here but now check this out if we loop so let's actually loop through our jokes that we go back so in fact what i'm going to do is override the str so string so we're going to override the string so here press command o and then str there you ha there you have it and we're going to return so here this will be the setup and then self dot setup and then punchline and then self dot punchline there we have it now i can go back and we can loop so let's loop so four and then joke in and then jokes we're going to print and then joke so let's just have f got and this will be within curly brackets and then close it here and then say jokes now let's run it and check this out so you can see that we have a bunch of jokes so uh, this was the status code 200 this was the json we got 10 jokes and you can see all the jokes so set up do you want to hear my pizza joke punchline never mind it's too cheesy <laughs> i don't know if this was if this is funny to you but yeah so these are like very dry jokes which they actually become funny uh so yeah this is pretty much how you go about using the request so from url lib as well as the json to read json objects so now you know how to perform http requests with python there is this library called pi text to speech that allows us to convert text to speech and it's really really cool so the installation process is very simple so you say pip install and then pi and then tts so python text to speech and then this is like a version and they give us some usages here so uh, we can change the voice we can increase the rate the volume so on and so forth so let me go ahead and show you how to use this so let's open up pycharm and let's open terminal and we're going to say pip and then three install and then pi text to and then speech so tts so pi tts and then x and then three install and then enter just give a second so it's downloading and that's done so let's now hide this and to import the module you say 
import and then pi text to speech three. So now we have the module here. So what I'm going to do first is the following. So in here, you see that we have the jokes and then we loop through the jokes here, right? So what I'm going to do is after we loop, so after we loop through the jokes, I'm going to say pi or actually pi text to speech dot and then we can say speak. Now I'm going to pass a text and I'm going to say amigos and then code. So if I run this amigos code. and you can see that it said amigos code and you can even change the voice if you wanted to. Now I'm going to take this line and then indent it because what I want to print is the actual joke. So here, instead of amigos code, we're going to say joke dot and then set up and then by and then TTS X three dot and then speak and then joke dot and then punchline. So here, let's uh, say here we want to speak the actual setup. So setup and let's take this line and then say the joke or oh, actually the punchline, right? <laughs> the punchline. And then if I now run this, set up. What did the great do when he got stepped on? The punchline. He let out a little wine. Set up. Did you hear about the kidnapping at school? The punk line. It's okay. He woke up. <laughs> Set up. So you can see that it's reading. Which side of the chicken has more feathers? It's reading all 10 the jokes. Line. The outside. And then the next Set one. Up. There we go. What's Forrest Gump's Facebook password? The punk line. One forest one. These jokes are really dry, by the way. <laughs> Let me just stop this. And there you have it. So obviously just threw an error there because I've just stopped it. You can see keyboard interrupted. But this is pretty much how you turn text into speech with Python. This is really, really awesome. And as I said, so in here, you can change the voice if you want. So here you can go and experiment with some other usages. But here, for example, you can change the volume. Here's how to change the voice. So if you want to change the voice to a female, you can do it right here. And you can even save the voice to a file. So you can even so you can imagine that, for example, you might even take a PDF file you can convert the entire PDF to voice and then you pretty much don't have to buy audiobooks anymore. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions on what we've done in this section, please do let me know. Right. I hope that you gained some ideas from this video. This video is actually part of the Python full course. So if you're interested, go ahead and enroll for free on my website where you can gain a certificate. So in this course, I will teach you Python from the ground up. So if you want to learn Python and you want to start your career in programming, then this course is for you. As I said, if you're not part of the Amigos Code community, go ahead and join. We are waiting for you and give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll catch you on the next one. Assalamu alaikum.